Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Uh, we'll talk about the last run in a second, but I'm pretty sure that we are due for a standard Isaac run. And, you know, most of the time, I'm pretty bad about remembering when, uh, you know, specific runs are supposed to be. But not this time, because I remember the last run. Oh, I remember it well. Possibly the greatest... Oh, there's still spiders left in here. I was like, why have I not finished this room? Uh, possibly the greatest success that maybe I've ever had in, uh, playing The Binding of Isaac. And I didn't even have a fun time doing it. Okay, fetus in a jar. That's really funny. We're not gonna do this just yet. Watch me end up not even getting an item on this floor because I decided to be a good guy and not take Phoenix in a jar. But in any case, if you didn't see the last run, we played as Samson. Uh, we won, but it's really not about the destination on that one. It's about the journey. Watch me get zero HP upgrades over the course of the entire game. Uh, okay, that's not totally accurate. I did get one HP upgrade after I had used the Ankh and turned into Blue Baby. So effectively, I got one Spirit Heart as a result of that. Um, watch me not really have that great of damage, but still somehow win, because Scapular made it so as long as I only got hit once on a room, I couldn't die. It's a weird one. Uh, probably like a 1 in 200 chance that I was actually going to come out with it on that run, and manage to make it happen just basically as a result. Oh, they hem me in really nicely there. Um, just as a result of basically getting Scapular and the Ankh. Uh, so a, a very niche circumstance turned into a, a, a very memorable run, but please God let this be one that is just a little bit uh, more powerful here. I know that I'm going to catch a little bit of flack for not picking up Fetus in a Jar. It, it always comes down to like principles with you people. It's always like, oh, so we won't pick up Fetus in a Jar, but it'll pick up Mom's Knife? Yes, that's 100% true. Uh, Fetus in a Jar makes things so automatic. With Mom's Knife, there's still a reasonable chance that I will lose, but ever since that run where I had uh, Epic Fetus and no other items, uh, one second. Just, oh, ever since that run where I had Epic Fetus and no other items and still won the game, uh, I have kind of said, you know what? This item is maybe a little bit too powerful for its own good. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Hmm. We'll probably end up taking that, to be honest with you, but I'm looking forward to checking it out in Rebirth because of all the cool synergistic effects between the, you know, the items that you can pick up and things like, you know, if you pick up homing shots, that'll actually have an impact on, um, on the second secret room. Uh, if you pick up homing shots, that'll actually impact your bombs, and if you pick up, you know, like, wiggle worm, that'll impact your bombs, that might already impact some of your bombs. That was awful damage, but, uh, sure, missing page is terrible. I just picked it up, or avoided picking it up out of principle, basically. We probably won't look for the secret room on this floor. To be honest with you, we definitely have to take the crate because we have to reroll uh, mom's pad, but it's also not the worst thing in the world because, you know, extra bombs and keys and money, better trinket, and a pill, uh, might actually end up creating something great for us out of that. So we'll reroll Mom's pad. Black Bean is not very good, but it is better than nothing, which is what we would have taken if we had not uh, uh, rerolled that. And we'll just pick up the box. Okay, so our trinket is the tick, which is really unfortunate. But the moon is the secret room. Let's check out our pill first. Pill's bad, bad trip. Okay, I thought it was bad gas because we farted, but that was Black Bean. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but no big deal. Why don't we use the moon card on this floor? Uh, and yeah, we're gonna get almost enough money to go to the shop, but probably enough to guarantee us a trip to the shop on the next floor. Actually, in fact, I only have one bomb? How is that possible? Did I, do you not get a bomb from the crate? You know what, let's, let's prioritize going to the, um, the shop on this floor. I might have been able to get that tinted rock at the same time, but I wanted to make sure that I got this nickel 100% so I could absolutely go to the shop in here. And we're gonna get Book of Revelations, which is just not good enough, but I might take that pill just to see if it's a range downgrade. It's not the end of the world, but that kind of sucks. So I think, you know, we're leaving this floor a little bit disappointed overall. I got black bean and some consumables. That's about it, really. Uh, but hopefully the basement part two turns out to be better for us. It's not the worst thing in the world. Sometimes, uh, you know, I'd rather get uh, nothing but a lot of consumables than something but no consumables because it, it does, you know, mean that we can at least go to item rooms and shops on this floor uh, provided we get one more penny at least the shop will be worthwhile. And having already seen the Book of Revelations, it's pretty unlikely that it'll show up again, which is good because I don't want to uh, go for it right away. Beyond that, you know, as Isaac, we have a little bit more leeway to not necessarily have stellar opening floors and still come away uh, with a reasonable chance for success. So, uh, certainly all is not lost just because our basement or cellar part one was not uh, particularly outstanding. We'll still be fine. So I have a very bad record against uh, Larry Jr. lately. Not, not for losing, but for losing health. Uh, if, I, if I actually lost against Larry Jr., 
um, I would probably be unable to forgive myself for quite some time. I might have just lost the chance to get a deal with the devil here. You know what the problem is? I keep getting hemmed in by this poop, and like I, I, I don't know what it is, but I seem to have always believed that Larry Jr. was a little bit easier than this. We'll just take our HP upgrade. I don't know why recently, like, I've just been getting completely boxed in on all sides by the feces, and, you know... That's the sentence that I never thought I would hear coming out of my own mouth, but hopefully never out of anybody else's mouth either, but here we are in 2014, and it's a wild world, isn't it? Okay, so ideally, uh, I can just get these guys trapped in my fuck corridor, uh, which is like the southern side of the map right here, and we're gonna have at least one reroll, maybe more. That's chemical peel. Chemical peel is fine. I'll pick up chemical peel. It's not my favorite item in the game, but it's okay, and inside of our shop we find the compass, which is basically exactly what I want out of uh, every shop for the remainder of my career in Isaac. Hopefully we get enough money to buy another key as well. There is another curse room, there's no risk to going there. Well, there's a risk, but there's no, uh, like, serious consequences in all likelihood to going there because we already have, uh, no spirit hearts, so it's not like we're losing any health that can be regained anyway. This has been a much better floor. Compass plus HP upgrade plus damage upgrade, even if it's not the best damage upgrade in the game, is a, uh, a pretty good get for uh, your second floor of the game, and it's going to set us up quite quite nicely to uh, deal with some of the floors that we're going to come across soon. Hopefully we get like a bomb drop or a key drop here, or a nickel, or a dime. Well, we got a penny, that's kind of similar, I guess. Uh, inside of our curse room, we unfortunately just find a couple of live bombs, but still, Feeling pretty good about the way that this floor went down. Could have been better, could have been worse. Um, the only way it could have been better in all likelihood is if we got a deal with the devil and I was able to trade for something amazing. But again, Larry Jr. and my own ineptitude damned me from that ever being a possibility. So let's head down to the caves part one. Now things are a little bit scarier because we have no uh, consumables at all. And this is like, remember when I said like, uh, you know, I would rather get nothing but some consumables than something and no consumables? Well, we saw both sides of that coin as we've come down here. We're gonna fight our boss right away, and I'm fairly lucky in that I haven't had to really do anything at all to get to the boss, so I haven't wasted much in the way of, like, reroll potential. I did take, uh, some pretty stupid damage, and in our second secret room we find... Guppy's Tail? Which I'll pick up. Basically, I'm just gonna- I, I could re-roll it to another deal with the devil item, potentially, but we want to fight the boss right away, get our re-rolls, uh, or save our re-rolls for that, and, you know, save our re-rolls for the potential deal with the devil afterwards, which we stay in a reasonably okay chance of earning, I would say, in spite of the fact that my health is a little bit lower right now. Um, but mostly I'm just gonna treat that as like, hey, here's a, a one-third chance to become Guppy at no cost to you, and that's pretty good. It's, it's pretty okay, at least. Uh, we're just gonna be very cool here. Obviously, this is not kind of the ideal items that you want to have when you're fighting Peep. You want to be a little bit uh, heavier on the, the high damage stuff, but that's fine. As long as we just dodge effectively, uh, you also want to have the ability to fly so you don't have to worry about Peep's creep, but um, as long as we keep our wits about us, we should be reasonably okay to just do fine here. Most important thing is just watch those eyes, and in particular, See where the eyes uh, are likely to collide with one another, because if they are likely to collide with one another, that can create some kind of unexpected uh, patterns that can really uh, wear you down. So we're about to win here. That was a, a textbook peep fight, basically. Totally okay picking up an HP upgrade. That extra red health might actually be useful as well. And uh, we get Lord of the Pit and the Luck Foot. I think we're just going to take Lord of the Pit. Uh, the ability to fly is super important. Reroll the Luck Foot into Guppy's Paw. Yeah! <laughs> uh, and then we'll just put it back down. So I've, I've really hindered myself quite substantially here. I, I've given up 3 HP. Ba 3 HP for the ability to fly is basically where we come at this one right now. Um, but the benefit is that we are now very, very close to becoming Guppy. So I did double down on that risk. Uh, hopefully we find a way to make it work for us. Uh, it's always better. And I, I think this is like a, an actual truism. Um, but it's always better if you're able to get Guppy's Paw last when it comes to Guppy items because then that sets you up in a really, really nice position to have a ton of Spirit Hearts moving on to the remainder of the game. Shears is obviously not good enough for what we need. Uh, we will go to our cursor even though it scares the shit out of me. In fact, maybe I'll wait until I see if there's some red health available. 
Maybe I shouldn't even uh, go to the curse room first. Maybe I should use my red health to go to this demon judgment and see if we get a chance for a payout there because you never know, we could get a guppy's head there. Uh, but you know, the curse room has a, a good chance to give us a guppy item as well via the red chest, so. Uh, that's gonna be our major focus. We can still make a good run happen here, uh, even if we don't become Guppy. Uh, we've, we've got some, we've got a damage upgrade, the ability to fly, uh, and that, that's about it, but that's still okay. But hopefully, we manage to swing this around here. I'm so scared about, because I want to go to the curse room, because I have a reroll available, so we're gonna do that. Um, and those are two pills, which are both range downgrades. At least we only lost half a spirit heart. I forgot we had the ability to fly, so that saves us some problems. Shoot the whoop is a terrible item. At least it's terrible for us in our, uh, you know, current meta, quote-unquote. Hopefully we have the opportunity to uh, re-roll that again, but we'll see. I don't really want to open that golden chest. Well, I, I want to open the golden chest. This is the caveat of getting Guppy's uh, tail, obviously. I want to open the golden chest, but I uh, perhaps more pressingly need this key to maybe make it to the shop and pick up something uh, like the map or at this point I would probably be easily convinced to pick up blue candle because we kind of need something to give us a little bit less chance of getting hit if that makes sense blue candle does give us a less percent chance of getting hit not just because it literally you know explodes or absorbs shots that are gonna come and hit us but uh, more importantly just because it kills all the enemies as soon as we walk into a room most of the time Sun card. Uh, the sun is a useful card, much more useful than a range down pill, and it's particularly useful as a full health, and that's probably how we're gonna use it here, because the more health that shows up, obviously the more I'm gonna play uh, Demon Judgment here, so uh, if I have to use the sun card to get full health and play Demon Judgment to get a deal with the devil, I will. I think that's a, a totally reasonable course of action. And it does at least allow me to play more than three times without being, like, super concerned for my own health and sanity. But let's see what our item in here is. Uh, that's gonna be Brother Bobby, and that's just something we pick up because, you know, I'm feeling pretty confident that we're probably not gonna have another reroll here. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what our last room or rooms contain here. No way to go to the secret room. I'm, you know, the other thing about taking Brother Bobby is that yes, it's it's a it's settling a little bit. It's a, it's a bit of a compromise and not necessarily a bombastic compromise. Uh, we wouldn't have gotten another reroll anyway. But even if we did, I could use that reroll on like Demon Judgment instead. There's a bomb, so that might allow us to go to the secret room. And we'll see. We might actually get another consumable before the end of this too. And going to the secret room would be very nice. Uh, we'll see. Hey, good. Going to the secret room would be very nice because it would actually allow me. <clears throat> the opportunity to maybe get enough money to go to the shop. So with three bombs, we should be able to get to the secret room fairly easily. It's not there, which means we actually should be able to bomb our way into the sh- Oh no, you know what? There's another possible op place for it, but hopefully it's here. It's not. Shit. Um, so we're not going to be able to bomb our way into the shop. I'll be very lucky if I can just get to the shop at this point. You think I would have seen- Oh no, I wouldn't have seen that they interlapped or overlapped. Uh, the secret room, the second secret room. This gives us exactly enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Let's see if we can just get a little bit more of a payout. Now, there is, of course, a reasonable chance that we will end up fighting greed in this shop. Uh, that's okay. We'll get more money that'll help us out in the future, or an item that'll help us out when it comes to shops in the future. Uh, actually, we just got the ladder and a spirit heart. And a key. I think at this point, I feel good about buying a key. And then this is where we just start playing off of like all that we've got on this floor. So now I feel confident enough to open one golden chest. And it could be great. Uh, it's interesting. I, I, okay, so we use the sun card to the maximum uh, effectiveness of the sun card here. Please pay out like early demon judgment. Don't fuck with me. Okay, we use the sun card. Then I'm going to play it two more times. Come on, demon judgment. You can do it. Okay, you know what? Now I'm going to be a little bit more brazen, and I'm actually going to... Because I want to take this Judgment card down to the next floor to possibly use it on a deal with the devil, but I'm going to open this golden chest. That is just bombs. Okay, that could have killed us. And I can't open any more golden chests, uh, so... We could use this Judgment on a deal with the devil to get another deal with the devil item, but I kind of want to just put it down right now, and then maybe he'll give us an HP upgrade, or maybe he'll give us more red hearts that we could use... Give us the map, which is great. I'm, I'm thrilled about that, but it doesn't really help us that much. Uh, I really can't justify playing him one more time. So I think we leave this floor, and certainly 
things have changed pretty drastically. We can just, well, we can bomb our way to the item room. That's a decent amount of money. Uh, yeah, well, we will bomb our way into the item room because we can. I would really love to earn the HP upgrade on this floor. Oh, might as well get that. Uh, that's Dead Bird, which is not fantastic. This room scares the fuck out of me. There's like 20 spiders here. Uh, all of which capable of uh, killing me. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so hard on that demon judgment. Okay, that's that's fine. We're gonna reroll Dead Bird because it's just not good enough. We're gonna live through this room, which is nice. Probably shouldn't have counted my chickens before they hatched, but here we are. Uh, Mr. Mega's pretty good. We're gonna gamble first, though. And the reason we're gonna gamble first is because I need some red hearts. And, you know, bombs and keys are beautiful as well, if we can also get those. Let's try playing the middle one. I never. Oh, I didn't even play the middle one that time, but I still got keys. This is obviously a very scary situation for me. Uh, by having a bomb, I at least, not guarantee, but I put myself in a position where it's fairly likely that I will get, oh my god, I almost lost the ability to shoot on that fly there. Um, I'll, I'll have the chance to blow things up, and if I blow them up, there's a good chance that they drop a half red heart. So, hey, pretty fly is really nice as well. Um, you know, if they offered the pretty fly in a shop for 15 cents, I would be tempted to buy it sometimes. So, I, I love getting it from the slot machine, especially because you can get more than one. Uh, not that time, though. It's okay, more keys. No. Two more plays, and I'm kind of shitting my pants here. Okay, that's big. That is very, very big. And we're out of money now. I think we just leave, and let's start earning some more rerolls to bring back to this item room. Uh, because Mr. Mega, although good, is just not quite good enough. We really need something to augment either our uh, HP or our damage directly. What is it? What is it? Tears up. That's really good. Now, two more rooms, and we'll be able to uh, make this happen and reroll one last time. Maybe not one last time, one more time, I guess I should say. And just really, really would love to get uh, one more half red heart, which would guarantee me not dying against champions. Just give me a little bit more survivability. We have no money, so I feel okay opening that up, and oh, sweet Jesus, that is great. All right, so we're back to full health, which is not a lot of health, but it's, it's, it's what we've got, so we can't really be too salty about that. We may actually get a chance to play our, uh, our blood bank there, possibly. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Peeper's Eye, Peeper's eye is just not quite good enough. You know what we are gonna do is uh, next reroll. We're not gonna take it immediately to the item room. Instead, we're gonna go to the curse room and see if maybe we can reroll something into a guppy item, which would give us a uh, drastically increased chance of success. But for now, we've got to survive. And catacombs part two is not a floor that makes that automatic. We have pretty good offensive items, pretty good defensive items, with one uh, notable exception: an extraordinary lack of HP. But uh, we'll probably be able to. Surmount that, maybe have a decent chance to get an HP upgrade on this floor, or an item. Alright, we got a range upgrade. Or an item, uh, like a nine lives, for example, that makes uh, getting, or that makes having HP not that big of a deal. I know that sounds weird, but um, if we get nine lives, I would rather have, uh, you know, nine lives with one heart than one life with two hearts, if that makes sense. I would much rather have one life with nine hearts, but uh, you can't always get what you want, can you? We're gonna check, I know this is gonna put us pretty close to being in a bad position, but actually getting those spirit hearts is quite the opposite. That helps us out a, a ton, and we can go back to our item room and reroll. We'll almost certainly be able to get another reroll on this floor. Uh, it'll probably come as we beat the boss, and that gives us a reasonably good chance to get a guppy item. The bean is so fucking bad. I mean, I guess, I, in hindsight, I guess I should have just gone with Mr. Mega, but I'm really swinging for the fences here on this run because we need good items. We, know, well, we, do, we need more than good items. We need beyond adequate items. We need great items, and those are a little bit rarer to show up, but that Spirit Heart bounty that we got on that Spirit Room, is, or sorry, on that Curse Room, is going to uh, help us out a great deal. Now, let's just try not to lose them right away. In many ways, I sometimes feel like I play better the less health I have, but... Uh, Oftentimes, still not good enough. It's almost always better to have as much HP as possible, whether psychologically or otherwise. So there's uh, one whole spirit heart down the drain because I made the mistake of thinking that chest had to be opened immediately, otherwise its contents would expire. And then, of course, I just uh, walked out of the room 
thereby completely neutralizing all the damage that I'd done to these guys. But that's actually not that big of a deal because they're gonna be easy enough to kill regardless. Another key is nice. Pretty unlikely that we'll be able to make good use of the shop on this floor, but keep in mind we do already have the map and compass, which uh, is way better than we'd normally be on your average player. So, the Carrion Queen. We're gonna take care of uh, it here. I don't know if it's a gendered uh, pronoun requiring scenario. That's okay. Um, we're gonna use as many bombs as is necessary to make this happen, and really, really important, keep an eye out for the fecal matter, which could uh, really drastically decrease my chances of actually making it through this floor alive. And I do want to play the blood bank if it's at all possible. I took some terrible damage on this fight, so it might have ruined my chances of getting a deal with the devil, but I certainly hope that's not the case. Oh, no deal with the devil, but we did get the pentagram, which is actually pretty amazing. And we have a reroll available that we can now use on the bean, so... Who knows, right? Like, we might get lucky. Uh, the pentagram is an awesome upgrade. It's not quite what I need, but it's what I got, and it's good enough. So we're gonna gamble three times on this blood bank. And then probably launder the money through the gambling system again. Uh, but we've gotta, obviously, be pretty careful with the way this goes, because we don't have very much HP. But we've really gotta, again, uh, as I am so prone to say, we've, we've really got to swing for the fences here uh, to give ourselves the best chance possible of getting HP. With one more penny, I think we play the slot machine, just because it's faster. We got another pretty fly, which is a good payout. Then we check our slot machine by blowing it up, we get more money. We're going to use this money to play the three-headed man. This is when I like gambling, when I have like five cents and uh, I've got to make the best use of it possible. I really like it. Uh, when I have 50 cents, it just becomes tedious. So we're back to four cents. Uh, red hearts, spirit hearts, uh, and other consumables in that order is what I really want. Uh, red hearts better than spirit hearts for now, because we need those to play the blood bank. Spirit hearts won't really do much for us. Unless we get red hearts in conjunction with them. Okay, more bombs is also great, because we are going to blow up this judgment as well. But... All right, that's gonna end that then. Uh, we'll probably blow up the blood bank before we leave here if it doesn't pay out for us. So we are gonna blow up the blood bank. Uh, I could play it a couple more times, but it's just too risky at this point. We'll instead just take this opportunity to get back to full health. And, you know, as usual, there's probably an argument to be made that, uh, let's just reroll this first before I lose track of myself. Teleport. Uh, I'm not even gonna use it once. Um, there's probably an argument to be made that I should have uh, gotten the HP that was kind of scattered around here and then blown it, or played the Blood Bank more and then blown it up because it could have paid out with a, like a huge amount of red hearts like it did that time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You're, you're not wrong. It's a good idea sometimes if you can afford to do it, uh, but we couldn't afford the like 40% chance that it was just going to pay out with something not less than our full health, basically. So here we are on an XL floor. Uh, and I'm just trying to plan our kind of course of attack here. It's the depths rather than um, rather than Necropolis, which is really our only saving grace here. Because uh, now it's extremely unlikely that we get a deal with the devil on this floor, which is really nasty. Because we uh, desperately wanted to get the uh, guppy items. There's no curse room here either, so the chances of us getting a guppy item are basically nil. It could happen if we come across a Demon Judgment or just a random red chest. Uh, but I think it's really unlikely. Here we go. We started to knock them out of the fight, so this should be over pretty soon. And that looks like it might be enough money to give us a realistic chance at going... Okay. A realistic chance at going to the, uh, the shop on this floor. It's our last shop. Uh, again, I love the D6, but if they have Blue Candle, I would probably end up picking it up. Fuck, if they had Book of Revelations, I'd probably end up picking it up right now. Because we desperately need the health. Rainbow Baby is not good enough considering how much floor we have left. Spelunker, Spelunker's head is also not good enough considering we have map and compass. Uh, normally, I do end up picking up Rainbow Baby, but we're in uh, a kind of a desperate situation here with respect to our health. It's actually a much more fun run for me than the last run uh, because we're actually like offensively able to do something to the enemies that we're fighting, which is always nice. Uh, but... We're in a pretty dire situation when it comes to health, and health is one of the obvious greatest predictors for actually being able to succeed on a run. So we're going to have to get something a little bit better than Rainbow Baby. Sp and, and Spelunker's hat, for that matter. Spelunker's helmet, I should say. Uh, and Celtic Cross is not very good either, for my taste at least, but uh, it's a little bit better than Spelunker's hat, bare minimum. 
Actually, Spelunker's Hat is actually like a worthless passive for us right now. Yes, I can justify opening that, okay. Uh, Spelunker's Hat is a, a worthless passive for us because we already know where all of the secret rooms, well, we already know where one of the secret rooms is gonna be. The second secret room, actually, we could find it via Spelunker's Helmet, but I think it's smarter for us to just uh, re-roll it and hope for something a little bit more traditional, and Demon Baby is probably borderline good enough for me to pick up. Much better, in my opinion, than, uh, than Rainbow Baby. Does Demon Baby actually not shoot if the enemies are, like, across a gap? If so, that is super weird, but Demon Baby's gonna be a nice uh, pickup for us. I'm very glad to have gotten it. We, uh, you know, D Demon Baby's not gonna win the run for us, but we have it, so that's good. Let's stay on this right side for now, because I want to make sure that we are uh, exploring and getting our rerolls as close to the actual target for those rerolls as is possible. The flies are being taken care of, which is very nice. There's no mini-bosses. We can already tell that just by looking at the map, and that's really, really unfortunate. But there is a Tinted Rock down here. And that's the other reason I'm going to come to all these rooms, uh, because you never know what kind of very useful consumables we might get. It could be, um, it doesn't have to be an item that saves this run. It could just be a tarot card or a pill that saves this run. Or maybe just a, an assortment of spirit hearts that saves this run. You never know, right? So, probably should have saved those spirit hearts until after we had, uh, you know, cleared out the floor, basically. I'm going to take it. Poor Babylon's a weird choice. Uh, I'm not gonna lie about that. It's There's a very good chance, probably at least like a three-quarters chance that it doesn't end up helping us at all. But, uh, on the off chance that I actually do end up taking another deal with the devil at some point, this gives us a huge damage upgrade. And what I'm thinking is, like, if I take a deal with the devil uh, for a guppy's head or nine lives, then I will be very, very pleased to have Poor Babylon. So, it's, uh, it's a bit of a long shot. But it's good enough in that long shot, I think, that uh, I think it's an okay pickup. Uh, I, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow my way into the secret, or the mob trap room here. And I can see what's for sale. It's not really for sale, is it? But I can see what they have. I actually thought I, I could still blow a hole in the wall and then just get out. Um, but at this point, why don't we just fight this room? Uh, I doubt that it's gonna be super tough. You'd think that I'd have these memorized by now, but I think for the most part, I just don't care. If I'm going to a mob trap room on the depths, that typically means uh, I can handle it without worrying too much about it, I guess. So, uh, this is not that much tougher than the mob trap room on the cellar, actually. So, in fact, I'm probably more likely to take damage in the mob trap room in the cellar because it spawns that double fly wave, but whatever. We're going to be very close to the, uh, to the shop here, and this is really our last room that provides us with some guaranteed, or at least probable benefit. Minus the, uh, the two boss rooms, of course, which are going to give us items, at least for now. We will want to kind of go to those boss rooms as soon as possible, because I want to make sure that I have rerolls ready for at least the first one, if I don't like what I get in it right off the bat. But, uh, so far this floor's been okay. We have so many keys, so I don't mind uh, opening that up. Basically traded a key for a bomb, not a great deal, but that's okay. And fighting greed, all is not lost. We can still get a, uh, a shop item and then just re-roll it. I don't think he's actually going to drop steam sail, though. Doesn't look like it. It's all right. Uh, what do we get here? More keys. So at least we got the key back that we spent to come in here. Uh, yeah, I guess it is our time to go to the boss rooms then. And again, we don't have to fight both bosses in quick succession unless the first boss actually provides us with an item that we actually like. That trinket is uh, just non-functional. Uh, and if the first boss gives us an item that we actually like, then we can go fight uh, Mom right away. But if not, we don't have to. So, how do I feel about my chances? Not very good, but map plus compass is uh, amazing. Having that blood bank is uh, both exciting and terrifying. We'll talk about that speed up, or that, yeah. We'll talk about that speed upgrade in a second. Sorry, I lost the ability to speak English there momentarily uh, because I was running through permutations in my head or, you know, possibilities in my head. Uh, and I think that that speed upgrade is probably something I will want to reroll. But we're going to come to our first boss first uh, just to see if there's any kind of, uh, you know, impetus to reroll his item instead of rerolling the speed upgrade. Obviously, if we get like a cat of nine tails here or something, that is much worse than just a speed upgrade. A speed upgrade at this point is, uh, you know, normally I say, and you might be saying right now, Northern Land, you always say you should get one speed upgrade because that's where you feel most comfortable. Well, yes, but I also got Lord of the Pit and Lord of the Pit is a speed upgrade. So I am a little bit faster than usual. I'm feeling very comfortable, very well adjusted to my speed right now. He drops an HP upgrade, which to me means that we can now take the opportunity to reroll 
uh, the wooden spoon back here. So we'll do that. Uh, and that gives us Lemon Mishap, which is obviously terrible, but this gives us a reason now uh, to actually explore a little bit more of the floor. And there's a red chest. That red chest could be what we have all been waiting for for quite some time. If it was, or if it is, then I probably should have, if it's nine lives anyway, I probably should have uh, not taken the HP upgrade right off the bat, but, you know, what can I say? I'm not always a clever man. That would actually be like a very advanced level tactic to not take an HP upgrade right away. And again, I don't mind being uh, at half a heart right now because we have two spirit hearts to back it up. Two and a half, actually. And uh, beyond that, I now have the ability to be in the Whore of Babylon state, which will give me a little bit of uh, added statistics and attributes. So I'm okay with that. We'll see what's in this chest. Hopefully it's more red hearts because I'll gamble them away. If we can end up snagging two or three HP upgrades on this floor, that would be incredible for our chances of success overall. And you know what? If we end up being unable to reroll the mom item as a result of my kind of aggressive rerolling tactics right now, that's A-OK -okay because there's no way that what mom drops is going to be worse than Lemon Mishap. It could be almost equal, like a Cat of Nine Tails would be almost equal, but there's no way it's going to be worse. Uh, and there's no way it's going to be worse than Telepathy for Dummies either, I can guarantee that. So we play this uh, Blood Bank a little bit more. The money is obviously worthless uh, to us at this point, unless we come across a judgment, but the uh, the pedestal is where the vast majority of that value lies for us. So if I just kind of hang out over, you know, conveniently placed gaps here, it should be very easy for me to finish off this uh, zombie room. And I'm going to miss this damage if we end up going into that mom fight with a little bit more HP, but so be it, right? could blow up the slot machine that's in that secret room. I don't know if that's really worth our time or our bombs at this point, but it is something that's, I guess, on the table if we're so interested. Yeah, at this point, ugh, I feel like Tammy's head is actually pretty good for us because we have a, a really good amount of damage, so there is that, but now I have two reroll pedestals and, um, you know, they're both basically equal because I'm not going to take either of them because they're both active items. Tammy's head is a better active item, but they're both, in my worldview right now, exactly the same. Uh, except for the fact that Tammy's head is actually closer to me, so that is going to be our number one reroll target. And we might end up leaving with two good items, we might end up leaving with no good items. Uh, until the boss room, but we'll see. We're going to give it a, a try regardless. Razor Blade, again, is uh, just not good enough. In fact, it's, it's, the, the one saving grace I can say right now is that at least we are, uh, taking some items out of the pool that I don't want to show up later either. And we're doing it relatively risk-free, which is always nice, but, um, I would also love the opportunity to just get some actual, like, viable items right now. They don't have to be amazing. A tiers upgrade would be so welcomed at this point. I probably should have taken damage there. Uh, more keys, always nice, because we have a very good chance of getting more golden chests, and, you know, it's gonna be, uh, I, I realize this is kind of a longer experience on this floor than you might have expected, but there is that, uh, that chance for this to really pan out so nicely for us that I don't want to give it up right away. You know what, we are gonna get at least one more reroll. I'll, I'll run the actual math in a second, but, uh, we are, we have two more rooms down here after this reroll. And then we have two more rooms on the other side, so we should have at least one more reroll available. There's almost no chance that we get a reroll for the boss room, I think. But uh, there's less chance that we need it than we need it for something like the razor blade. I think that much is just pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, so we'll reroll the razor. And we end up picking up holy water, which is actually a negative at this point, I think. And now uh, I think we come back down to these two rooms, and then we probably go and reroll. Uh, the, what was that item? The last thing it was was like telepathy for dummies. I can't remember. But that item that's closer to the boss room because we're going to go down to the that left side of the map to finish up our reroll generation. And uh, hopefully it pays out with something. Uh, the holy water was a, you know, basically we got three or four terrible items on those item pedestals in a row. And I'm not thrilled about it, but you know it is what it is. At least we've hopefully taken some of those out of the item pool so they don't show up later. We have a little bit more of a chance to gamble on... Oh. Okay, we might come very close to not getting a reroll here, um, but at least we're going to be able to play that blood bank a little bit more. <laughs> I guess that's the, the saving grace. And at least above all else, I tried to min-max uh, what we had left here. That's something that, you know, six months ago Northern Lion probably would not have done. Came up to get that red heart just so that we'd be able to gamble on that blood bank just a little bit more. And of course, yes, we did get the cancer trinket. That's something that unfortunately is not going to be very useful for me at all. 
because we're gonna have to give it up. Oh, I, I should have hit that bomb a little closer. Actually, no, you know what? There's no way that was gonna find the secret room for us anyway because we've already found the secret room. And the second secret room, I don't think it's literally possible that it could be in that uh, area. So, that's a judgment. That's good, but also bad. Why is it bad? We get no more rerolls, but effectively, um, we kind of do, because this is almost like I'm just paying money for another item here, which is functionally kind of similar to a reroll, and it gave us an item that was kind of similar to many items that we've had before, so, you know, I can't afford to pay six cents to take every bad item out of the item pool. The one saving grace here is that as a result of uh, this room still having enemies in it, I will now, after beating Mom, get the opportunity to reroll whatever uh, she drops. But, there are three bad items that are still available on this floor, and we re-rolled them about four or five times each, or total, I guess, sorry, not each. Uh, so, that's bad news, I suppose, but we should be able to get out of this uh, totally fine, nonetheless. I guess we can't really uh, play that blood bank some more. Kind of 50-50 luck with the blood bank so far. We've gotten a good amount of money out of them, but uh, not getting a single blood bag. I mean, it's not like we ever had a situation where we gambled on them like 30 times. But still, I would have preferred if the game had just thrown me like one bone over the course of the game uh, and given me like one blood bag, or at least an IV bag that I could re-roll. But, uh, beggars can't be choosers, and that's pretty much what we were doing when we go to the blood bank, so... Uh, let's just choose to be the bigger man and walk away. You know, just break the wrist, walk away. We're having a very easy fight against Mom here. It gets more difficult when she starts shooting, but uh, I don't think she's going to, so... That makes things very easy for us. Meat is a great upgrade. Polaroid, obviously, is going to replace cancer here, and, you know, meat's just really good. So we have two of spades. I'll, I'll pop that as soon as it comes time to use a key. This is a uh, womb XL. And the way that we actually go to the boss room is... Oh, okay. Let's pop it. Uh, the way that we go to the boss room is actually exactly the way that I would want to go on this room, if I or on this floor, if I had the choice in the matter. Which is great. We're going to go past the secret room. We're going to go past the curse room. Uh, the only thing that's terrible about this is that, again, we miss out on our chance to get a deal with the devil uh, as a result of the fact that we're on an XL floor, which is really shitty because, again, we did put not all of our eggs in the basket of becoming guppy, but certainly some of our eggs in the basket of becoming guppy. Alright, that was a little bit trickier than I expected. Should stay at a half heart interval. It's the kind of thing that, on a, a borderline run like this, might actually end up making a pretty important difference. This should be... It's going to be interesting to see how this run shakes out, was what I should say. Uh, we really, really, really need just something more. I don't know what it is, because, uh, you know, well, what it is in my brain is we need, like, four or five more HP upgrades. And that's the kind of thing that is not going to happen. At least, bare minimum, it's not going to happen before we get to Isaac. So, we need to come up with some more creative solutions, and those creative solutions, unfortunately, things like Mom's Knife, Brimstone, uh, or a Guppy item, typically those roads uh, all lead through a deal with the devil, which we obviously don't really have the opportunity... Ah, oh, I didn't stay at a half-heart interval. Um, which we obviously do not have the opportunity to actually access here, unless we get a teleport card and then get a little lucky. Um, so... It's weird. Uh, we'll let Demon Baby take care of this and then come back up here. Good news. More money. Uh, we're totally going to go to the curse room unless I take like 12 damage on this room, which is looking pretty unlikely considering there's no enemies. So it's a troll bomb. Uh, that was the only other way that we were likely to pick up a guppy item that could turn us into guppy. So uh, unfortunately, with that, the dream goes to, to rest a little bit. Hopefully to wake up a little bit later. I think we can maybe get guppy items on the chest if we've more or less exhausted the item pool. That will obviously increase our chances. Bad trip is actually a pretty important pill for us. But first things first, we're going to fight Blastasist, who is, uh, you know, one of the easier bosses that you could fight on the Moon Part 1. Not the easiest, but um, one of the easiest. Obviously, the easiest is probably Skull X. Uh, yeah. Death is not so bad either, to be honest with you, but... Uh, like, Death and Blast Assist are probably roughly on the same level. I, I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to death fights, because I always hit the zombie horse into myself uh, with knockback. Which is really something you have to be cautious about. <sighs> is the coin purse good enough? I'm gonna take it, just because the best other thing that I could hope for from a, deal with, or from a boss room is an HP upgrade. This could give us more than one HP upgrade. Uh... 
And what I was really actually hoping for was the tears upgrade, which is what we got. What about this one? Luck down. Not a big deal. The other two are, uh, yeah, range downs. So we got a tears upgrade. Basically, I'm going to say we got a tears upgrade instead of an HP upgrade. And I do think that's a, a difference that is favorable or near enough to favorable that I don't feel bad about it. Uh, the fact, if we didn't get a tears upgrade, that would have been a, a pretty terrible payout for us. Um, like if we just gotten like a speed and a range upgrade or all bad pills or all bad gas or something like that. Um, obviously that, that would have been horrible. But there was also the chance maybe that we'd get a uh, balls of steel pill in there or a... Uh, you know, a, a full health, which is maybe a little bit better than Bad Trip because we are more flexible in when we can use it. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Let's see. Um, I am going to finish fighting Mom's Heart here. And in mere moments, I should be able to uh, finish this off and move on to the remainder of the game. But I'm a little bit skeptical at this point about how that's going to work out. Uh, because really, like, we haven't... We haven't gotten bad items? Like, we haven't gotten screwed on this run. But by the same token, we also haven't really gotten great items. I mean, Lord of the Pit is a great item, but I worked for it, man. Uh, I don't know. I, I traded for it. And the one thing I will say is that I did go all in to some extent on picking up uh, Guppy's Paw when I, when I only had a, a small-ish chance to become Guppy. That being said, I only traded one HP away for Guppy's Paw, and that's something that wouldn't really have had a massive impact on this run if I had that HP. I guess you do still have to kill the Eyeless Ooze guy, much to my surprise. Uh, the library is just going to contain books, and weirdly enough, that's actually almost enough to convince me to go for it, because a, uh, a Book of Belial could be super important. The world card is basically worthless considering we already have a, a functional world card. Super Breed is, is maybe worth fighting because he could drop an item, but we're just going to move on. It, like, on paper, Super Breed is probably worth fighting. But uh, it's, it's okay. We may actually have, with the bad trip pill, we may have a small chance to get us past Isaac, and if we get past Isaac, that means I can uh, go to the chest, and by going to the chest, I can get four new items, and then, you know, anything could happen up there, so I think it's a... Uh, it's something that would be another kind of coup if we won this one. But not as much as a, of a coup as the last run, because on the last run we didn't get anything of value, basically. Uh, on this run, we've gotten some valuable things, but uh, just not enough of them. I'm just going to put a bomb down. We have a lot of them. Uh, I really hope that that would actually block some of those uh, sights. Uh, it didn't, but on the bright side, we didn't get hit somehow anyway uh, by the miracle on concrete. Now, uh, I, I do want to use one more bomb, but I think I'm going to resist the temptation. That's basically what I figured was going to happen. So why don't we just uh, let the horsemen take out the Zambros, and we'll just try to stay the F away uh, at all costs from the uh, field through which the horse is going to fly. Uh, now, if I could just kill death prior to that, that would be great, but that's fine as well. Uh, we have enough keys. I think we reroll the range upgrade into the unicorn horn. It's just not good enough at this point because, uh, th and this should be obvious, the D6 reaches, like, peak usefulness in exactly the situation that will just be cool for a second. <laughs> it reaches peak usefulness in, like, exactly the situation that we're in, which is we're about to reroll four items, and we need them to be good. Uh, so, I mean, we're about to reroll four items if we get lucky, I guess. That's, that's what I'm getting at. So, um, here we go. We do have two orbitals. That's not uh, a lot. We're not doing as much damage as I would like to be doing. But we might be able to swing something out here regardless. Uh, luckily, our rate of fire is not so bad that I... Or not so good that I'm actually causing Isaac to shoot at us like all the damn time. Uh, if you just give me a little bit of time here, I should be done with this. I don't know. I've been hit once. We're, it, we're like exactly proportionally matched right now. He's hit me once, and I've done about a quarter or a fifth of his health as well. But I do have this bad trip pill that is backing me up. I just never remember if bad trip works when we get down to half of a red heart, or if it works when we get down to... Oh, come on, demon. Judge or demon baby. Um, or if it works when we get down to one red heart. If it's when we get down to a half, we're going to lose. If it's when we get down to one, um, then we are probably going to win this fight. I don't know if we're going to win the game. It does work when you get down to one. Okay. Uh, it's still kind of a close call here. Why is he poisoned? Did I get... I didn't get Poison Touch. I don't have Poison Bombs. Oh, you know what? It was the Black Bean, because I ran right into him. Alright, we're on the third phase of Isaac. Just need to only get hit two more times. 
The less angel fetuses that spawn, the better. We're actually pretty lucky here with respect to how we're doing so far. Uh, I am going to be a-okay here, I think, as we just come to the end of this boss fight. I might be able to get a little bit lucky, and if I sneak a bomb in here, uh, I should be totally fine. But it's going to have to be really, really lucky. Okay, one more hit should be good. Uh, if I just kind of continue with this for a little bit longer. Very good. Okay, so now we have four more chests that we can open and maybe make some good stuff happen here. But I need to get a reroll first. PhD will give us the HP that we need. And it's kind of tempting to pick up a, in, alongside a bottle of pills. So maybe we'll do that. And then we'll take a pill from PhD. It gives us only a range upgrade, which is basically worthless. Uh, and instead, we will come through here and start uh, maybe prioritizing killing uh, Sloth last. Because if we kill, obviously if we kill uh, Gluttony last, we'll have a chance to get HP, which could be useful. But I think at this point, it's probably more useful. Actually, it might be more useful to have the HP. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double down on uh, going for Sloth in the hopes that he gives us a tarot card of uh, extreme usefulness. So... You know, one tarot card could actually win the game for us here if we get exceptionally lucky, so... We'll see if we get uh, exceptionally lucky here. In the... Oh, okay, tarot card is High Priestess. Actually will be okay, but probably would have preferred to have the hearts there instead. So we'll reroll all of these. X-Ray Goggles is just not good enough. Uh, Dead Sea Scrolls is... The Shovel, which is worthless for us at this point. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we survive too much longer. I maybe probably should have just gone for Gluttony instead of killing Sloth last, but uh, if that's what changes a winning run, in, or a, a possible chance of winning into a uh, greater chance of losing, then um, I probably didn't have much chance to begin with, did I? So let's just put this there. Uh, this room, I'm, I'm really concerned about it possibly being the death of me, because there's going to be an awful lot of uh, poop springing up, and that's going to be difficult for me to uh, actually do anything about here. But I think I might just toss a bomb down, and if I get exceptionally lucky... I mean, I'd rather use all my bombs than use my High Priest discard, but whatever. We're dead anyway. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button. That would help out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more uh, videos like this in the future. I apologize for my own ineptitude there, but as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.